Well, they look after 100,000 children in Australia, but informal kinship carers, that's grandparents and other family members, often fall through the gaps when it comes to resources. Many struggle with far less financial support than carers in formal child protection systems. Social affairs correspondent Norman Hermond reports. Oh, is that a general pass for me? You reckon? This is not the road to retirement Jill Green expected. Ah. For the past four years, the 61-year-old has been caring for six grandchildren, aged four to 13, on her own. It can be very traumatic at times. Yeah, sometimes I just want to cry. Jill is an informal kinship carer, a family member looking after children who are not in formal out-of-home care. She stepped in when her son, the children's father, and their mother could no longer look after her grandchildren. You've got all these grandparents who are giving up their lives and saying, well, I'm going to take the kids and I'm going to care for them, but don't get any help. It's estimated 100,000 children in Australia live in informal kinship care, more than twice the number that live in out-of-home care. I think it's a huge problem because, um, because it's so hidden. Jill relies on Centrelink and would get about $1,800 more a fortnight if her grandkids were in formal child protection. The federal government says grandparent carers could be eligible for the same Centrelink payments as parents. But it's not just grandparents. You want a cup of tea? Yes, please. All right. In her 20s, Laura Box became her sister Natalie's guardian after their mother died. She struggled to find support. I don't feel like there's any services around that specialise in this. It's really terrible that, that the support that they get is very little. Um, it's not a great situation to be in. Jill Green has accepted that this is her retirement. Someone hasn't got a seatbelt on. As an Aboriginal woman, she says the most important thing is keeping her family together. Norman Hermont, ABC News.